if I were a business looking to expand um, or relocate, absolutely, without question, I would consider East Kentucky. We have the most highly skilled workforce. Uh, the incentives, the economic incentives, um, tax incentives are parallel to none. Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC North America, my friends. Today I have something incredibly special for you. As you can see, I am at the Gene Haas Eastern Kentucky Advanced Manufacturing Institute and I have a powerful message I need to share with you, which includes the significance of what happens with the skills gap, the significance of what happens when people put their minds together to help each other out, to support a community that has had such struggle. When we think about this struggle in Eastern Kentucky, we think about the coal mining industry. It was almost 100% coal mining, which which means a few years ago, 12,000 or more jobs were lost. And with a community of 25,000 in this one community, that's darn near more than 50% of the working humans in these communities that lost their jobs. And what do they do? What do they fall back on when there's nothing else but coal mining? What do you do? You fall back on manufacturing and you fall back on it in a significant way. The purpose we're here today in Eastern Kentucky is to convey a few messages. One, this center, this Gene Haas H Tech Center here in Eastern Kentucky provides education for everyone, including people who are changing jobs, transitioning jobs, to the youth that are coming out of high school to offer them an education that when they leave, have zero debt. Imagine that, going to a school, five months for adults, 11 months for the youth, going to school for that long and walking out with zero debt into a place where you're going to have a job right away. Imagine that. Now, on top of that, here's the situation. Because coal mining has gone down and because the community here values each other so much, they are looking to have companies move into eastern Kentucky. And I am in Paintsville right now looking for companies to move in. The first one is going to benefit so much. And why is that? There's tax break. There's an opportunity corridor which allows you to get buildings for free. There's empty buildings right now waiting for you. We're only a little bit from the airport surrounded by beautiful nature everywhere you look, peace and quiet. This is the place where you can come, whether you're an American company looking to move to a new state, whether you're a European company or an Asian company who's looking to come over here and build a foundation in the U.S., this is a place to look. Um, Eastern Kentucky traditionally has uh, depended on the coal industry. It's been a one industry uh, dominated region for decades and uh, with that business waning uh, we have this incredibly talented workforce, um, highly skilled workforce uh, in need of new opportunity. So um, about five or six years ago I was trying to figure out what made sense, uh, what was a fit for our culture and the people of our workforce here in East Kentucky. And I came up with uh, CNC machining and robotics. Uh, so we started this uh, training center here, ECAMI, to um, train and reskill the region's work for new sustainable careers. So there's been a pretty dramatic or drastic change in people's life here in eastern Kentucky with jobs being lost and with coal mining kind of being reduced to almost nothing, right? And you decided, based on this inspiration, to create this environment for people to have success again. And you're putting out 40 to 50 students per year that are highly qualified, both right out of high school and adults that want to come in who have had generations in the mining world. Is that correct? That, that's exactly right. We have two different um, cohorts. We have a youth program, and that, that's for students right out of high school or in their early 20s, really not sure of what they want to do with their life. And then, um, 
the adult program, which is where we started um, and why this uh, center was started, is to reskill the unemployed, uh, displaced miners and people associated with the mining industry. Well, my name's uh, Mike Salmons. I've uh, lived here in Eastern Kentucky my whole life. Uh, I'm about a third or fourth generation coal miner. Most of my uh, parents and grandparents was uh, underground miners, and I chose surface mining as a career. And uh, it's been, been a, you know, a, it was a good career for first part of it. Then after a while, it kind of got to where it just it was unstable. Yes, I was an uh, over-the-road truck driver. Uh, I had an accident, and that's when COVID hit, and then I was out of work. But switching from truck driving to machining is a totally different world. Uh, when I found out about Ecami, I was thrilled about this opportunity. And my family is too, because this is going to offer them stuff that I wasn't offered when I was little. Once I called a million times to get in here, I probably bugged the people over at EKSEP a million times a day, swear. And uh, I mean, once I got in here, I mean, I really didn't know anything to start out with it, uh, to do with tools or even like taps. Or, I never used to tap in my life. And uh, now I can probably tell you anything in that toolbox. I can show you how to run those mills. I mean, even though I am younger, I did, at first it kind of, you know, I was a little shy. And I didn't let that bother me here for a very long time. I tried to help people as much as I could. My buddy, he was, uh, he went to school with me and uh, he told me about this school and he told me I could come here and make a great living for myself. And it was free to come here and they provided me lunch and gas and everything like that. And I said, man, that's a deal. The coal mine shut down a lot of other businesses, side businesses, restaurants, gas stations. It, it affects the whole area. And, uh, you know, and, I, and I, my brother, he was uh, probably, I think he worked around 25 or 30 years underground, my twin brother, and he went to this class, the class before me. And he got into it and he was telling me about it and uh, telling me about the opportunities that this class and this, this school was providing. And it, it made me want to get into it and that's how I got into it. But Kath, Kathy, with decades of experience, this has been a passion of yours for a long time. So you bring in the machining that's behind us, this Haas Technical Center with the youth, with the adults, giving them opportunities. But you're a mother to them as well. It's not just about machining. You offer so much more, don't you? Yes, we, we teach the um, hard skills, the tangible skills here. But I really believe our secret sauce is uh, in the soft skills, uh, the intangible skills. Um, and that those skills are embedded in the daily life at ECAMI. Um, things like punctuality, uh, teamwork, uh, leadership, respect, business etiquette and professionalism. And um, yeah, so it's kind of a one-stop shop here. Working in the oil field for so long and working in the military for a while as well, and let me say thank you for your service thank also. You. Um, What's the transition been like? Has it been easy? Has it been difficult? And where do you see your future going from now? Because a lot of people think of going into a school when they're younger, but we can do that in the middle of a career if our career's not going where we want it to go as well, right? So how's that been? Oh, I agree with that 100%. You know, we're never too old to learn. Um, coming from the oil field and the military, coming to another vocational school to learn a new trade just shows, you know, anything you can do, you put your mind to it, you can do it. Um, hopefully from this school, I mean, we have several job offers from several prestigious companies. And, you know, it's pretty much we have our pick and choose. It's just what is the right one for you. I never really liked the concept of college, like paying, being $100,000 in debt, having a four-year degree for a job I'm not guaranteed to be in when I'm out, and then have to find something else to do. So my junior year of high school, uh, when my friends recommended ecamming after his friend went, uh, his brother had went through the program, um, told him about his job and all the benefits he gets and everything I could ever dream about, and I told him I'd think about it. It sounds great. And then every time I heard about college, I was like, Nope, I'm I'm going to ecamming. Oh, I love this industry because what it does is it gives me so much opportunities. I can go to I can go get a degree. In many of these fields, I could go and do robotics, machining. I can be a supervisor, work my way up in a company. You can do anything. You can learn so many things here, so many trades, and I, I can't beat that. 
bringing companies here is an important and significant responsibility of the locals and you guys want to have more jobs here and more work here that don't just go around coal mining right so yeah. what type of incentives do you see here where companies will go man i really love as a local for years and years what kind of incentives do these companies have well like you just mentioned you know you've got a workforce that's willing to travel two or three hours just to go to work you know you don't find that in a lot of big cities you find people if they got to drive 30 minutes they act like that's a big deal but you're taking people that's driving two hours just to make a living. Imagine how much more effort they would put into it if he was right here in their back door, if they was only having to drive 30 minutes. I mean, the people here are hard working. They're dedicated people, and they're, and they're very, very skilled workers. The coal mines, you have a lot of stuff that comes up, comes up you know, in while you're working. And people have to adapt, and they have to do things that, you know, this may be not their job, but they do it because they want the company to succeed, and they want to keep their job. So your dad, how many years of mining did he have before he moved into machining? Uh, almost 30 years. Yeah. And how's his career now into machining? So he graduated with this last adult class here at Ecomi, and he is working for Roush Yates Engines, um, running a meal on the weekends, and he loves it. And we've all heard of Roush Yates, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you graduate soon, right? Yep, January. And what are your goals and aspirations once you get out of here? Well, I'm really looking forward to the robotics, and I want to uh, I want to do a big I want to make a big influence in that industry and uh, learn as much as I can. You even go as far as to work with your local community to clean up haircuts and make them presentable in business meetings so when they step into that interview they are ready to go on day one. Yes, all, all of our graduates are ready to hit the ground running. Uh, they know their technical skills. Um, we are NIMS certified so they earn their National Institute of Metalworking Skills credentials here and they also earn some certificates in robotics and um, in addition to that, they learn the life skills and success skills. So uh, my goal is to set them up for a uh, successful life. And we're here today because we have high hopes of inspiring companies, not just in the U.S., but around the world, and maybe even specifically Europe, because there's really great companies there, to move to Eastern Kentucky based on a massive amount of workforce, which I think is important because we all know there's a skills gap. But you guys have the laborers here, and not just laborers, but technically sound, intelligent people ready to jump in. So what are some of the incentives for businesses to come to Eastern Kentucky? We have incentives here uh, that would rival any place in the United States. We have buildings, we have workforce, um, we have training funds, and um, so anyone who is remotely interested should check it out. Uh, we're in an opportunity zone as well. And um, like I said, I've lived all over the country, but um, the incentives here for Eastern Kentucky are parallel to none.